What is up you guys, Nick here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope everyone's Christmas and holidays are going great. Santa is bringing with him more presents for all of us Neo fanatics. We are all aware of how red hot the electric vehicle industry currently is. The investor interest in the industry as a whole is currently through the roof and companies across the board are realizing this and want to get a piece of the pie. In the past few months, we have seen many companies who previously had not even mentioned or considered electric vehicles edging their way into the industry, and it seems like every single SPAC right now is choosing to merge with electric vehicles. Now this can tell us something on a macro scale. Typically, when an industry is hot, we will see heavy investor interest and stock trading volumes through the roof. However, we won't actually see corporate interest from behemoth giants. Not on the scale we are seeing as of late, at least. Massive tech giants are beginning to position themselves for the future by merging into the electric vehicle industry, which is a very good sign for the industry as a whole. Analysts, investors, and corporations alike are seeing the writing on the walls. The world is turning towards green, clean energy. EVs are expected to surpass gas and diesel vehicles as the most popular type of vehicle sold on the market within the next 10 years. These nascent young companies that we are investing in now stand to become powerhouses in the coming years and decades. Apple who needs not an introduction, is the latest tech giant to begin hinting on the prospects of merging with an electric vehicle company. There are rumors that Chinese EV companies are on their radar. In this video, I want to dive into this subject. Is this really possible? What would this mean for investors and their share price? And how likely is this to happen? We have a lot to get into, but first, Weeble has improved their promo. They are now offering four free stocks worth up to $3,700. All you have to do is one, sign up, two, open an account, and three, deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. This is a complete no-brainer. They offer some of the best analytics in the game and are a 0% commissions trading platform. Worst case scenario, you get the worst stocks, you're still getting like a 20% ROI, complete no-brainer. If you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I first told my subscribers to purchase NEO shares at $7 a share. You don't want to miss any of my future picks. I focus my investment strategy around innovative disruption. Smash the like button for Lee Bin and NEO. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right. So if you have surfed around the internet for the past few days and are an investor nerd like me, you would have likely seen the many rumors flying around stating that Apple is and has been building electric vehicle prototypes. Now this isn't new news, but this is resurfacing in a big way. Now here's what we do know. In 2014, Apple commenced Project Titan. They had around 1,000 employees dedicated to designing and developing an EV in a secret location near Cupertino HQ. The next few years saw the project brink on disbandment, changed leadership, however has began picking up steam yet again once the EV boom really began taking off in North America. Apple has rehired the notable Doug Field a Tesla engineer in 2018 and has stated John Giannandria as the project leader. This project has begun really taking over the internet the past few weeks and there has been a confirmation as of right now and this may change but right now Apple plans on releasing a vehicle in 2024 so in less than four years time. If we have learned one thing from Apple's products and their company in the past is that they above everything else succeed. They have some of the best artificial intelligence intelligence software on the face of the planet. Their user face integration is flawless, their integration of hardware and services is above the rest, and its notoriously near perfect design and sleekness has really taken their products to a completely new level. Because of this, their company has become one of the largest in terms of market cap in the world, valued at $2.24 trillion. To say they have the means and employees necessary to fund an automobile startup is not even of question. Of course they do. However, just because they do have the funds to do this, there still remains a lot on the line for Apple to successfully do this. Many financial analysts and Apple-specific analysts are increasingly leaning towards the more likely prospect of Apple merging with an already up and running electric vehicle company. There would then be a joint partnership and then Apple would have its stake in the company while keeping their own risks as low as possible. Companies don't want to overexpand and overexpose themselves on the market. 
it's much more lucrative and risk averse to remain in one sector and build products within that sector very well. And although this is true on the surface and in terms of brand recognition, companies can avoid this while keeping risks relatively low by investing in companies to increase their sector and industry-wide exposure. Tech companies, to say the least, absolutely love doing this and have been doing this for years now. Now, what makes Apple very unique and somewhat seductive is their ability to keep their future products under wraps. But in a rare quote, Apple CEO Tim Cook stated in working on the autonomous vehicle space, quote, we're focusing on autonomous systems. It's a core technology that we view as important. We sort of see it as the mother of all projects. Apple has intentions on being in the EV industry. Now, if Apple was to merge in a strategic partnership with an electric vehicle company, which company would this be? Let's look at the largest EV company, Tesla. Now, this on the surface would seem like a likely strategic partnership. However, it's almost certainly not going to happen. If we know one thing about Tesla, it's that they are growing and expanding more than enough all on their own. It's very unlikely that Tesla would potentially damage their core brand recognition and consumer trust they have developed over a decade by merging with a already powerhouse tech and phone company. Tesla likes to do things almost exclusively their own way. They have their own charging stations. They are vertically integrated. They have over $20 billion in cash. They are a very healthy company and an Apple-Tesla partnership would bring bring Apple much more than it would bring Tesla. I'm also not sure their managerial mindsets are akin to one another, and it was reported that once Elon Musk had reached out for a meeting with Apple CEO Tim Cook, who wouldn't even consider taking the meeting. Apple is much more likely to find an emerging company who could use the exposure, use the spotlight, use manufacturing resources, use their checkbook, their research and development funds, their autonomous driving AI capabilities, and their employee pool. They would likely want to find a company that has its legs already under its feet in terms of deliveries, and a company based in an extremely hot geographic EV location. They would want a company striving to become L4 autonomous, a company that's on the verge of breaking out but just needs that little boost to push them over the threshold. They would want to merge with a company with a revolutionary forward-thinking CEO and management team. They would want a company to be able to compete against the likes of other powerhouses such as Baidu, Tesla, and VW. Do any companies like this come to mind? Neo. Many analysts are stating that Neo would be a great strategic gain for Apple and for Neo, as both parties would likely greatly benefit from the partnership. Apple would thus also be able to keep its risk management relatively low. Analysts are stating that the probability of Apple moving into the EV industry through a strategic partnership with an already pre-existing company is over 70% in the next few years. They would then likely break away from the company and move into manufacturing exclusively on their own four or five years after. This could be compared to the tech giant Baidu timeline. It's also important to note that Apple indeed plans on fabricating more routes within China and their future landscape. They see the tech revolution and advancements on AI in China as extremely lucrative and the place for innovation to occur. Neo, already having affiliations with the Chinese government through their Neo China division of their business would perfectly migrate this opportunity for Apple. Now, any merger of any company likely brings with it a surging share price. And if this was to be announced, there is no doubt in my mind that Neo would be the most heavily traded in terms of volume that specific day. This would likely grant them endless resources, would be huge for their company. However, this is just the beginning. These are just rumors leaking out, but I wanted you guys to get this as soon as I did. I will have follow-up videos on this very exciting and very enticing prospect for both Neo and Apple. What I really want is for you guys to put your opinion in. Do you think this is likely? Do you think there's a company they would rather merge with, such as Xpeng? Xpeng has also been going around the airwaves on the internet as a likely merger possibility for Apple. However, with Neo already having its legs under its feet and delivering more than Xpeng on an increasing basis and becoming closer to L4 autonomous driving than Xpeng currently, and with Neo's already joint affiliation to the Chinese government, which I do believe Apple sees extremely enticing, I do think a Neo partnership is much more likely. Anyways, I will have more on the subject in the coming days and weeks, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget about the Weeble promo for free stocks worth up to $3,700. 
$100 for free. This is a complete no brainer. All you have to do is once sign up to open an account and three deposit in at least $100 using the link in my description. Anyways, I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Cheers.